Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm just getting ready to work out, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on my health journey and how I'm doing. The last time I talked to you concerning health is when I told you about my experience with a keto diet and how I had given up on that because it didn't take me in the direction that I wanted to go. I lost a lot of weight, including my muscle weight. So that's why that wasn't working for me. So from then, I decided to keep some of the stuff on the ketogenic diet, like the bread and some snacks. And then I, I started trying to, uh, to incorporate my own stuff. Then I realized that that wasn't working either because what I hadn't taken into consideration is much as I liked the keto bread and the snacks because they are healthy, uh, compared to the stuff we buy from the store, I realized that they, what I hadn't realized is that um, they were high, very, very, very high in calories and in, um, and in fats. It, it should have occurred to me, but I hadn't thought of it that way. So what helped me realize that was for me to start tracking my macros because I had told you guys I'm not that kind of person who tracks calories and macros and everything I eat. I just kind of go by portion sizes and by the foods that I eat. But I came to a point where it was just almost impossible for me to figure out what I'm doing right or what I'm doing wrong. So I did my research and I, I understood that I had to figure out am I, uh, uh, how much fat am I eating, uh, how much calories am I eating. And I'm telling you guys, if you're out there and you want to change uh, your body, <clears throat> you have to track what you eat, at least to begin with. At least for me, um, that's what I did for the first two weeks. And that is helping me a lot because sometimes I was eating stuff without knowing the impact it was having on me. So much as I was eating small portions in other things, when it came to that keto bread, I would eat two slices but those two slices were like, uh, they would be actually, the fat in them would be more than what I needed for, the, uh, for my day. And also uh, like the calories would be so high. And yet um, I was eating them in addition to other stuff that I was eating without knowing the impact they were having on my diet. So what I did is I got the MyFitnessPal. For those of you that are interested in health stuff, you probably already know about it. For those of you that don't, I want to advise you to pick up my fitness pal from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. It's free of charge, but it will help you track your calories and your macros. And that is the number one step. I, I, I always used to think I didn't have to, but I now realize you have to, at least to start with, because uh, you want to have an understanding of what you are eating. Sometimes you may think something is so small, it doesn't make an impact, but that small thing may be full of calories. So I used that MyFitnessPal uh, to track my calories, and I, I understood that that so-called um, healthy keto bread I had to give up that because, again, um, much as I loved, I, I loved the bread, it was working against what I wanted to achieve. I was eating all my fats in just two slices, and yet I had to eat uh, other stuff. And then, in addition to that, the calories were so high. So I've been, I used that. The other thing that I, I used, before I had a weight, uh, a scale, that I would use that would only give you uh, your weight. But I came across a scale, I did some research, I came across a scale that would give me more than just my weight. So this scale right here, it's a scale that gives you more than just weight. It gives you things like how much water you have, your body mass, your muscle mass, uh, your protein, your BMI, like it gives you a lot of other stuff that you need. And um, there, are, there are many of, of, of such scales, but this one, I found it, I, I bought it from Amazon for less than um, $30, I believe. I think it was less than $30. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link to all this stuff that I'm talking about in a blog post so that you guys that are interested can check them out. The other thing I went, uh, there's a website I went on uh, that 
has like a macro calculator uh, where you can you put in your your gender you put in your height your weight and how much exercise you do and uh, what your goal is whether you want to lose weight gain weight uh, do a body recomposition and then it gives you how many calories you need to eat and how many of those calories should be like protein or should be carbohydrates or should be fat and so using those three things like the my fitness pal this scale here and that website i can see that at least i'm going in the right direction so uh, for those of you that are really interested i will link again to this stuff that i'm talking about so that you can get an idea of uh, what uh, you need to do so for me the other thing now that I've, I've decided since i didn't want i had to get off that keto bread and i didn't want to stay on the store um bought bread i had to i have to figure out ways of how to make our own bread so i also invested in um a bread maker because I love bread, I'm telling you. So the other thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to come up with recipes that are more of what I need, like uh, because I know the things that I need to eat and uh, how to eat those things. So <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to play around with, uh, to understand my macros and also to come up with recipes that support those macro goals that i have so again as i said you guys that are interested i will leave a link uh, so that you can check that stuff out but uh, the other thing that i'm going to start doing to help us truck drivers most of uh you guys that may be interested in this because i've had some people who who are saying that i should do more of these videos i used to do them and then i had so so they want more of like um videos to do with health so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start um making videos to show you the things that i eat and how i'm cooking them or baking them uh, to give you an idea in case you guys want to do that too and i also want to encourage you to get uh for those of you especially those of you that are over the road i want to encourage you I want to encourage you to find yourself some bands because I know you can't take uh, like weights on the road, but these bands here, I used to take these on the road. When I was doing over the road, I had these bands. I haven't been using them at home, but since I want to show you some of the exercises that you can do over the road, I'm gonna get them out and start uh, using them. If I had to buy bands right now, I would buy a different kind of bands. And I will link to those bands that I'm talking about. Like it's a different kind of bands than this. And if this ever break or get spoiled, uh, because these I'm thinking they are very old. I haven't been using them in a long time. So I don't know if they'll be able to do what I want them to do as we go along. But if I ever, if I was to buy new bands right now, I would buy a different kind of band um let me show you hold on uh actually this is the uh, bands that are like this they are more like this you get a set of these bands these are the bands i would i would buy i think if i was to buy them because i think they would serve they would serve better so uh, again i'll leave a link to some of of the sets that are you can get these bands but i would advise that you get yourself some bands so that you can use them for uh, like strength training while you are on the road now if you can also get a pair of dumbbells that would be good for those of you that are home or if you can also get a, a pair of dumbbells i remember i didn't take dumbbells uh on the road but i did buy some dumbbells long time ago off of craigslist and you can get you can get good deals excuse me off of craigslist so i have like a set of 15 10s uh 25s and 35s and uh i got them for a very good price and i use those at home so if you need dumbbells you can get those off of craigslist and if you can take maybe like uh, 25s or 35s depending on how you feel your strength just take a pair even one pair could be good if you uh, keep it in the truck and you can use it but bands are really the way to go since they are very portable you don't they're not heavy but then they can we will be able to get a good workout the other thing i would also advise is that you get a jumping rope i've always owned a jumping rope uh together with my bands this is a jumping rope can be a really really good workout now um i would say that just get any jumping rope that will serve you well 
but there is a company out there that really has very very good jumping ropes uh, i haven't used them but from their reviews and from what i'm seeing they look to be very good they are a little pricey but you have to look at it as an investment i do i do plan in the future probably to invest in those ropes they are, as i said they are expensive so uh, but it is an investment in your health it's something that pays off long time because uh, jumping rope is really a good exercise but to start with if you can't invest in that uh, just get yourself a good jump rope and uh, and we will be using that so i think that's it that i just wanted to to give you an update on that uh, i really changed my view now when it comes to uh, you know like stepping on the weight and tracking my macros I did it to begin with for the first two weeks, but now I don't do it every day because I have an idea of what I'm dealing with. But every now and then I will use my fitness pal app to track what I'm doing on a daily basis, like to see what I'm, how I'm doing in a particular day. And uh, every now and then I will step on the scale. As soon as I wake up, before I eat anything, step on the scale, get my, uh, my weight and all the BMI and all that information that this scale gives you. And the good thing is towards it so you can, you can see your progress over, over days. Like from the day I started, I can see what my progress is, where I need uh, to act. And again, together with my fitness pal, you can kind of figure out. And if you need to adjust your goals, that website that I told you that talks about the macros, you can go there, adjust your goals and get a new number uh, to do with macros and also the calories you need every day. But my, my goal is um, to share with you some of the exercises that can help you out. And uh, the idea is to keep them short, something that you can do like maybe in your 30 minute uh, break uh, so i'll be just sharing with you ideas and then you guys can also share with me your ideas or what you want us to do and then we can take it from there because i know health is one of the important things that we need to focus on as truck drivers we sit for a long period of time especially for those of you that are over the road you sit for hours and hours and the food sometimes that you eat uh is something that can start small and before you know it, you end up two years, three years wondering what happened to me because you've been making um, bad choices when it comes to eating, not because you want to, but because maybe you didn't plan to. So I just want to give you ideas of how you can plan to stay healthy even when you are on the road by working out, putting in short workouts, but also um, understanding how you are eating and what you are eating. Uh, depending on what your goal is. But as I told you in the other video, for those of you that just want to lose weight, and that is your main goal to start with, I really, um, I love the keto uh, diet when it comes to losing weight. It, if you can do the keto diet together with intermittent fasting, that worked for me really fast to the point that I just didn't want it because I was becoming skinny and that's not what my goal was. Uh, but the other thing you have to pay attention to if you decide to do that is you have to understand that some people get side effects that are not good in this. They feel dizzy. Some people, it just doesn't work for them, especially when they're starting out. So read up on, on it, do some research and make sure that if you decide to do it, you know what you're dealing with because uh, I didn't get those side effects, but I hear some people lose uh, some of the minerals they need because they are just focused on eating fats and yet they need those minerals. So you have to figure out another way of taking in those minerals. So if that is something that interests you, do some research on it. If you want me to uh, point you in a direction where you can get a uh, good research concerning it, let me know. I will give you some links to some of the information that will help you in that. But again, I just want to share with you my journey and hopefully we all can go in a better place when it comes to our health. So I'm just going to go work out right now and I'll catch you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. And until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.